Hello, I'm Richard Hooper and this is Sat TV Week. Panasonic Global Communications and NewTek have unveiled a new high bandwidth satellite modem which offers Panasonic customers 20 times the bandwidth of Panasonic's current solution. Versions of this new modem will be available across Panasonic's mobility markets, including air transport, business aviation, maritime, cruise ships, mega yachts and river cruises. Developed in partnership, the new modem is capable of exceeding 400 megabits per second, and it can scale to meet the evolving needs of airlines and their passengers by facilitating the increasing bandwidth coming on stream over the next two years, as high throughput satellites and extreme throughput satellite services continue to be layered over Panasonic's existing global network. This will expand network capacity from 2,300 megahertz today to 15,000 plus megahertz by 2017. Sat TV was present at the joint press conference and we can now hear from the new tech and Panasonic senior management. So today we are indeed announcing a very important uh, and long-term partnership between our both teams and our both organizations that will not only help uh, shaping the future of satellite communications, but that will also have a major impact on how we and other travelers all over the world will indeed be able to experience that enhanced broadband connectivity on planes and ships in the future. Well, this is really a groundbreaking announcement for Panasonic in terms of selecting new tech to build the next technology platform for our satellite um, communication systems for all of our vertical markets. Panasonic will use our equipment on a worldwide scale to connect planes all over the world. So in the near future, passengers all over the world will be able to connect on the plane thanks to new tech equipment. There were really two important ingredients that we were looking for in a new partner. Uh, the first was they had to be absolute best in class in terms of performance of the modem. Uh, in other words, that's just how efficient it operates and uses satellite bandwidth was really, really important. The second was a cooperative organization that could embrace our vision for where we wanted to go in the marketplace and then help us achieve that vision. So it meant opening up the platform to us, doing special things for us, uh, especially in the aeronautical market where it was a custom piece of hardware together with a the rest of the new tech technology, that's really what we were looking for. Somebody that would say, hey, we're going to be your partner. We're going to help you achieve your vision. So the most important benefit that Panasonic will see when using this modem is, of course, uh, the efficiency gain. On the forward link, we have we support DVB-S2X, which is the latest DVB standard and which uh, outperforms uh, the existing DVB-S2 standard with uh, an efficiency gain up to 50%. On the return link, we have our proprietary MXDMA technology, which also outperforms any existing return technology with uh, up to 100%. You know, at the bottom line, we can, we can talk about all of the acronyms and the great technology that goes into this product, but, but what the end user wants is, is more bandwidth. They want it more efficiently to be delivered at a lower cost. They want it fast. They want all the things that they use in other, other parts of their lives. Um, mobility has some unique difficulties associated with it, particularly on airplanes which are moving very, very fast. You know, a thousand kilometers uh, an hour, that's tremendous. And you need to be able to, to uh, handle that communication and the movement of the aircraft in relation to the satellite. Um, these things are engineering challenges, and so we embrace that. Um, and at the same time, we need to be able to deliver a lot of bandwidth, and we need to be able to do it at a very low cost. Okay, that's an engineering challenge, let's go do it. And New Tech has been a great partner with us to embrace, you really can't just be good at one variable, you have to be good at all of the variables to be the, the winning provider in the world. The relationship between our both teams will further grow. We will be further developing new technologies to further increase the speeds and improve the efficiency of the transmissions of those links towards those planes and ships all over the world. In other news, SES has announced that four more US cable operators are testing 4K content delivery across SES's fully managed Ultra HD platform in advance of breakthrough Ultra HD subscriber trials set to begin later this year. SES has struck new Ultra HD trial agreements with Marquis Adams in Wisconsin, Buckeye Broadband in Ohio and Southeast Michigan 
Service Electric Cable TV in Pennsylvania, and On Touch Systems in Texas, and now has eight operators currently assessing the satellite-based UHD solution, aimed at accelerating 4K delivery to homes across America. Airbus Defence and Space has signed Gigasat to its channel partner program for Skynet services. Gigasat will be offering Skynet services as part of their mobile and flyaway communications portfolio to Indonesian defence forces operating within the Asia-Pacific region. Airbus Defence and Space is working with service providers to develop new partnerships to deliver high-resilient Skynet military satellite communication services to the Asia-Pacific region following the move of its Skynet 5A satellite from 6 degrees east to 95 degrees east to provide global X-band and UHF coverage in this region. That's all for this week. Thanks for watching.